G'day, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazines. We're down on the central coast of New South Wales at the moment. We've taken the chance to, uh, to drop into Mac Marine, Brendan's business there, to check out some of their CJ and Remora boats today. And I'm here with Corey Van Leeuwen. Um, you've got one of the CJs here, it's the Territory. The four yep. and a half metre territories seem to be really popular all over Australia, don't they? What does this hull offer to your customers here on the, on the lake? Well, fourth, um, 453 is basically a good inshore and offshore boat, so good for the lake. It's got the variable dead rise in the hull, so good for smooth water, but it's got the, the chop cut in the hull so you can go outside with it and it yeah. as well. I noticed they've got the, uh, the the totally enclosed transom, there's no uh, low engine wheel in there so I suppose when you do go outside it can be a little bit of a nasty day and you know you're going to get back in one piece but that big area and I'm sure there's a lot of lure casting goes on in this place. Uh, yeah, people absolutely. like that. Uh, let's um the the next gen it's called the next gen ue2 hull ue2 stands for ultimate edge um that's got a variable dead rise between the front and the back and some wide chines hasn't it yes definitely which makes it a nice comfortable ride and those uh, those reverse chines of course make it a little bit more stable when you're on the water um cj and gary fitzgerald from cj always quotes this thing as having a big dance floor up the front yeah. um this one here has uh the extra tank up the front to uh, to hold a few fish or a bit of live bait yeah so it's got the kill tank at the front which you can use as a live bait tank as as well. This boat powered by the 70 horsepower 1.5 litre four cylinder inline Suzuki on the back and uh, is that the maximum horsepower for this model? Yeah, yes it is the max horsepower, yep. Now we've got the uh, the gauges on today where we can do some of the uh, the fuel economy and speed tests on it so we're going to come back to you later with some of those performance statistics. Um, this one's set up on a single axle uh, a Redco trailer, um, pretty easy to get into people's garages. Yeah, nice and easy, single axle so you can move it yourself. Um, don't have to fight with the, the twin axles and yeah, nice and movability. Tell us about the um, the Suzuki outboards. You guys have been selling it for nearly two years now at, uh, at Mac Marine. Um, any dramas with the Suzukis? It seems like a very reliable platform for your customers. Yeah, no, there's no issues with these at all. They're a massive powerhouse pretty much. So they've got the same platform from 70 through to the 100. Yep. So all the 1.5 litre. And um, yeah, got plenty of grunts, especially for this thing. Now this is a demo boat that they've set up for the shop, so it's basically a blank canvas. There's no electric motor on the front yet, or sounders in there. But um, but if you wanted a boat like this, you could come in, hook up your favourite uh, brand of sounder, favourite electric motor, and away you go. Yeah, definitely, we can fit all of that for you. Now post COVID, uh, stocks of boats have been a little bit difficult to get hold of, but I hear that uh, for both Suzuki and CJ's point of view, the lead times are way down now. It only takes uh, and then it only takes a few months to, for them to get in a customised boat of your dreams, or if you want to take one of the demo boats for a ride and you fall in love with it, well, they can fit that up and have it ready to go. We're going to come back to you after this ride in the boat with some of the performance statistics. Well, there you go. That's what the CJ453 Territory with this 70 horsepower Suzuki looks like out on Lake Macquarie this morning. Uh, as usual, look, this CJ Territories are designed to be a very big platform with weight a long way back to uh, let you do long runs comfortably uh, in maybe some nasty water. Of course, this morning, pretty glassy out on Lake Macquarie, but uh, the Territory did all of that. The, uh, the boat, I suppose, was a little bit bow light. There wasn't enough weight in the bow. To, it sort of took a while to get on the plane. Because there's not 30 kilos of electric and maybe another 30 or 40 kilos of battery sitting in the front, and as soon as you put that weight in it, that would be all suited, all sorted for this boat. 
Um, economy was ridiculously good though. This 1.5 litre Suzuki delivered 4.3 kilometres per litre at uh, 4,000 RPM and a 39 kilometre an hour cruising speed. And that's one of the best economies that we've seen in any boat that we've tested. So with petrol here at the moment, nearly two bucks a litre, that works out to be only about 50 cents a kilometre when you're travelling, which is fantastic. Of course, put the hammers down, 6,000 RPM, 63 kilometres an hour it reaches, but at 2.6 kilometres a litre economy, which isn't bad still, but uh, is a long way away from that 4.3 litre marker. If you want to look back through our boat test, we've tested this hull with different brand outputs, uh, and the best we've got out of it was 3.9 kilometres per litre. So uh, the Suzuki ticking boxes when it comes to economy. Uh, we love the, the, the big storage as you get under these big front casting decks in this boat. Um, and the beam on this boat means that it's very stable in the water. Um, this is an ideal inshore and then go offshore occasionally lure casting boat. If you were going to get an offshore boat that you would use maybe inshore for lure casting, I'd probably pick something fiberglass or something a little bit bigger. Um, that full transom though, you can come straight off the plane, get that big wave, come up behind, doesn't get into this boat with that big high transom, so that may give you the peace of mind when you're travelling some larger waters. Um, as we said in the introduction, this is a demo boat for Mac Marine. You can see all of their details on the boat at www.macmarine.com.au. But it's ready to put whatever brand of sounder you want on there, uh, your electric motor up on the front. Those guys are a Minn Kota Pro dealer. They can sort out the Minn Kota for you and get this one sorted and ready for you to go immediately. Uh, currently, wait times on boats post-COVID can be quite long. These guys have actually only got it down to a couple of months, but if you want a demo boat, this thing is ready to go straight away. Um, make sure you drop in and see Brendan and the team. They're at Gateshead here just south of Newcastle. They're happy to take you for a water test in the demo boat and see if they can set up your ideal CJ territory. Alrighty, take her off whenever you're ready.